There is something wonderfully poetic about the fact that despite the fact that even if convicted, he's not going to go to prison, the first person to actually criminally prosecute Donald Trump is a black Harvard grad, the very kind of person that his former staff, the people who worked for him, Stephen Miller, et cetera, want to never be at Harvard uh, Law School. But he was. And he came out and graduated, and he's prosecuting you, Donald. And a black woman is doing that same exact thing in Georgia. And a black woman forced you to pay a $175 million fine that's out now also in question because the people who put it up, that might not be legit. Donald Trump is being held to account by the very multicultural, multiracial democracy that he's trying to dismantle. And for me, there's something poetic and actually wonderful about that. It hmm. says something good about our country that we're still capable of having that happen. Go DEI. My DEIs are bringing it home on today. Hmm. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Well, as you saw in the opening clip, Joe Reed, this train wreck here. I don't know, every joy that I know are full of hate. You have Joe Behar, and now we have Joe Reed, the black woman with a Trump wig on. She hates Trump so much that she have to have a blonde toupee on her head. Unbelievable. But yeah, you see, the hatred for Trump, this is what it's all is about. They hate that he beat Hillary years ago, and this is all about vengeance. It's all about years of slavery. It's all about racism. This is all they hate him for. Remember when OJ passed away, CNN had a panelist saying this. But it was so racially charged because of what had happened uh, just before with Rodney King, but also just how black Americans feel about policing. It's not like O.J. Simpson was the, the leader of the civil rights movement of his era. You right. know, he wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial particularly because there were two white people who had been killed and the, the history around how black people have been persecuted um, during slavery. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. These people are oopsie lost. They're gone. Absolutely gone. Everything is race. Everything is about slavery. DEI didn't earn it. Affirmative action, all this nonsense people. Now Trump, was in court today for eight hours, eight hours. And he comes out and he went to his hometown. Well, he went down to Harlem to visit a bodega. As distinct as the bodegas of the Bronx. No, 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 Jill Biden, not a bodega, a bodega. Okay. He went and visit and if y'all don't remember, a couple of years ago, um, Jose Alba was a store owner and he's minding his business, minding his business and opened up shop. And you have this Democrat here was trying to rob the store over a dollar chips. He goes around the counter and Mr. Jose, uh, slice dude up, Swiss cheese his ass up. Bye -bye. Okay. Alvin Bragg put murder charges on the store owner. Not on the assailant. The assailant passed away, but Alvin Bragg prosecuted the store owner. What? This is the same Alvin Bragg who's going after Trump. But meanwhile, if you commit crimes in New York City, I'm talking about pushing people off the subway, uh -huh. um, knockout game, he reduced it from felony to misdemeanor. Meanwhile, 
Trump was a misdemeanor he elevated to a felony. <laughs> anyway, Trump is in the bodega and you see the crowd for Trump. A few weeks ago, a couple of days ago, he was here at um, Atlanta, Chick-fil-A, and people said, oh, it was staged, and he 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 um, he uh, staged his whole event. Everybody knew he was coming. Okay, fine. Now, he's in dark blue New York, all right? New York, full of Democrats, and look at this crowd here. Report him. Have a good time, everybody. <laughs> MAGA folks, folks, this is nothing but Democrats who see that he's being mistreated and they come out and support Trump. Look at it, they say four more years. Come on, guys. Now, now let's see this, right? Today, just a few hours ago, Joe Biden went to his hometown of Pennsylvania, Stratton, Pennsylvania. He loved talking about Stratton. And this has been a planned event for weeks now. And let's take a look at his crowd. Wow. Even in his home hometown, there's people out there chanting for Trump right in front of his face. Ma'am, could you roll down that win your window and Jim, could you put your boom mic out the window? Thank you. They are chanting for Trump right in front of his face in his hometown of Pennsylvania. Big difference. This is a planned event now. So all my trolls out there who said that Chick-fil-A event was planned, Biden got a planned event and he can't even fill the restroom. Look how empty it is out here. And he has Democrats and Republicans, bipartisans outside chanting for Trump. Make sense of that, folks. Grandfather would tell me when I walked out the door in North Scranton, in North, 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 Scranton, North Washington Avenue, in Scranton. We have a judge here who is hell bent to getting Trump. He put a gag order on Trump. He can't say nothing about the trial. Meanwhile, him, his wife, his wife used to work or still works for Letitia James. What? And his daughter, who's fundraising against Trump. That his family is making money off this pro this rogue criminal prosecution. Just like Fannie Willis, the judge in New York, family is pocketing money off of the prosecution of Trump. That is not just partisan corruption, not just moral corruption. That is literal corruption. Raking in the money. They can say anything about Trump. The daughter have avatars of Trump in jail. No. And he won't recuse himself. He won't recuse himself. And just putting gag order on Trump. What is the judge's reaction? Not, hey, maybe I should disqualify myself. No, gag. 
it's Trump. You better shut up and not tell anybody about it, or I'm going to put you in prison even before we go through trial. Yeah, but we all see it now. A lot of people are waking it up. They starting to see the bull. And we're going to go down in November. We're going to pull the lever for Trump. I don't care what you say, what you do. You can put him in jail. We're still going to vote for Trump. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> oh, right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn.